Hello, thank you for visiting my channel and this is a celebrity reading. Uh, someone that I haven't never thought to do reading, um, it's Andrew Tate. Uh, very controversial individual, um, a social media influencer, um, ex-kickboxer, uh, really an interesting character. So briefly, astrologically, to summarize his um, chart, I only can say that he is a double Sagittarius. So sun and moon is in Sagittarius. Uh, Venus in Scorpio and Mars is in Pisces. So knowing that, what we can really say... Um, also, Mercury is in Scorpio, so it's a very interesting combination. So uh, he's a really very um, imaginative, um, very strong sense of imagination. And um, I would say intuitive individual, but lacks discipline, lacks discipline. He probably has a lot of, you know, hyper... Uh, active sense. Um, he can really skip um, obstacles just because that he believes in himself, you know, so much. Um, also, what I want to say that, you know, a Sagittarius energy is so strong. He has a certain beliefs. He's very uh, visionary, very excited about the future. But with the Mars in Pisces, he might lack the discipline. So what really saves him is that intuition and imagination in many life areas. So Andrew Tate is a very controversial, especially, um, you know, in, in the current, uh, if you will look into the media, um, with his teaching, with his sort of um, ideas. Um, he has been accused about, you know, various things and... Uh, if you have watched um, Tucker Carlson interview, you also will get to see that um, he clears that he has been uh, compromised, you know, with his position and unfairly accused of things that he hasn't hasn't been involved and in, did not do. I don't want you know to go into that, but I just really was very curious to see what is his astrology, which I did, and uh, it all makes sense. Um, and also, I just would love to see what the car is going to tell about, you know, his current situation and his energy. What is coming in Andrew Tate life? Um, so let's begin. Andrew Tate, one overall card. Let's put the external influences. Uh, internal influences, projected outcome. Okay, so overall uh, is the Seven of Pentacles. Um, needing to invest the time and patience in order to bring some results. So Seven of Pentacles normally speaks when you plant a seed in the ground, you need, you know, to have some sort of result, right? But this result will not have an immediate um, a sort of product, right? So the result itself will come after some time of really nurturing and giving a time. So with this card, I want to say whatever he is working now, the results will not be instant. The results will come with the time. When we are talking about the external influences, I mean the challenges, you know, that impact this overall energy. And we have the full. So if we combine that astrological view that I gave to you, um, the fool really is not seeing the risks. It's about that vision, that Sagittarius mind where it takes you far. You have such a strong sense of believing yourself that you can, can do anything. You are invincible. And sometimes, you know, we don't really take the necessary risk assessment, right? We just do things on the spurge of idea, 
we have that motivation and we want to do it. We want to take the risk, right? Without really thinking how that will impact me in the long run. So taking that energy, I think uh, it really speaks about the external factors, why he is in the position where he is. So not really being very careful and taking maybe way to um, things too light, speaking about things, doing things without really assessing um, the risks. Internally, page of swords, he just gets, you know, uh, the insights. He wants to do it. He does the research. He has... Um, Venus in Scorpio, um, he has Mercury in Scorpio. It means that he is doing the research. He he feels and intuitively he is attracted, you know, to certain ideas. It's like it's like someone is telling, well, look, you know, you will succeed there and there, and undertake will not take their word. He will do himself a research. And he has to feel that it makes sense. So he is not going to sign up um, just on the spurge. He will do his own research. And he only will trust the very close environment. So when we have the page of swords, I feel that he will have some sort of information coming towards him. When we are talking about the seven of pentacles, the situation that might be uh, felt like he is stuck. So obviously we know his situation with um, the, the, the legal sector, you know, that he was imprisoned um, for 92 days, I think he said, um, serving those days, you know, really with no real evidence. It's like an information are coming his way, which might clear, might clear, you know, the the whole situation in his in his you know legal battle um against those accusations that have been made some sort of information some sort of uh, announcement coming his way um and equally he's probably trying to find uh, some sort of evidence by himself you know whatever he has been accused he's trying you know to find some sort of proof to defend himself in that case and accusations that have been made against him. The provisioned outcome is the strength. It's like, as we're doing this reading, the energy requires him to stay strong, to believe that he is supported by many people, that he is seen as a leader, he is seen as an influencer, and he's probably seen as a person who has been unfairly declared doing, you know, wrongful things. Now, it's not to me to say whether he is a guilty or innocent. Um, it's more to me to read the cards. But from the cards, what I'm getting, it's a very much a case that it's asking him to stay, remain calm, to stay believing in his his, you know, story, believing in the facts um, and the support that is given probably by the lawyers, his lawyers, and, you know, staying in the realm of confidence in yourself, okay? Let's clarify these cards. Let's clarify this overall energy, the Fool, the Page of Swords, and the Strength, okay? So, two cards for two of Pentacles, okay? The Fool. Page of Swords is clarified by Page of Swords. That's interesting. Strength, the Lovers, Two of Wands. Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles, the overall card is clarified with the Star and the King of Swords. A very powerful individual. Um, it could be himself, but I don't think because the sword really represents Aquarius. The, the star is as well very Aquarian, very air energy. I believe that someone is 
stopping the progress, you know, stopping the progress on the purpose. He is in a situation that I would call a bit stuck. And I think the change itself might really come when it is the, uh, the season of air, right? So if, if we are talking about this, not only represents, uh, Aquarius, it represents Libra and Gemini. So we, if we are talking about time frame, some sort of momentum or some sort of relief and release of information might come in October when we have the the end of September, October from the 21st of October, uh, September until the 20th of October. We're going to have some sort of insight what is coming um you know, uh, in terms of his situation, in terms of Andrew Tate's um, legal battle um, and what was the true story because someone is fighting on his behalf and someone is very determined to release the truth and, you know, help Andrew Tate to get cleared his name. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm seeing here. The full, the external forces, um, it's a three of pentacles and nine of swords. I feel that, I feel that, you know, the lack of taking a risk assessment um, led him to do things that triggered basically corporate institutions. Three of uh, pentacles always speaks about collaboration with a corporate organizations, a group of people. So it upsets the, the corporate or, you know, the, the group of people, um, the actions that he has taken, you know, um, and, you know, those actions could be really very much being out there in the, in the social media, promoting, you know, his business, doing what he thinks is, you know, no harm. Um, that sort of thing is provoking those people who are now making him to go through the legal battle. Okay. So there is something um, behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, I feel like some sort of papers have been signed, some sort of agreements, which now makes Andrew Tate uh, to worry, to be stressful, stressed and in a position that he doesn't know how things will work itself. Internal uh, things, uh, internal sort of, you know, challenges, I said, you know, page of swords have been clarified by page of swords. Definitely is coming some sort of evidence he in his hands. He is getting, you know, some documentation, some sort of message, some call. Um, a woman figure can help him to, to really, you know, push the situation to resolve um, his, his a very um, risky position that he is. Um, someone really going to defend him big time. Um, that could be as well social media because page of sorts really speaks about social media. So a huge influence comes as well from social media. Um, now projected outcome, the strength, we are getting the lovers and two of wands. And for me, it's very much speaking about making a choice, maybe relocating, maybe not living anymore in Romania. Maybe, you know, he will receive a proposal like conditions are given to him saying, you know, whether you will do this or that, that initially means certain consequences. So if you will choose this way, that's where you're going to end it up. If you will choose this way, that's what you're going to have it. And I think he is really, really thinking, what is my next move? What I need to do, what I need to choose. Um, so Andrew Tate really is in, in that sort of mindset that I need to come up with a plan. I need to come up with a plan. I need to make a certain decisions, certain choices. And the projected, projected outcome is that in that near future, he's going to make the decision, the plan, 
what is working for me here and now and what I need, you know, to do in terms to get myself out of this very tricky situation. So this is the current energy. That's what I have for you, um, my dear fans um, who are very interested in, especially Andrew Tate's situation. Um, looking in the cards in general, I, I really feel that there is a lot of intertwined energies. There are a lot of people working behind the scenes to help him, including himself. There is definitely a big, huge media interest, but that means as well that he is being watched um, by those who are in the corporate world or, you know, people who, um, who really put him in that tricky, difficult position. Um, so that's what I have for you. If you enjoy, please like, share, comment. I really appreciate. Um, nevertheless, remember, this is for entertainment purposes. Good luck and see you soon. Take care.